Welcome to the Lord's Challenge with Joshua Daniel. The Layman's Evangelical Fellowship International is a ministry reaching people from all walks of life since 1935. After a life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ at the age of 16, Joshua Daniel has been declaring the marvelous deliverance from sin, which is freely given to all those who turn to the loving Savior. From small villages to large cities, in many parts of the globe, through revival meetings, literature, radio, internet, and television, Joshua Daniel has been tirelessly laboring, trusting God to supply all that is needed. Wherever this message has gone out, broken relationships have been restored, sickness healed, ill-gotten money returned, and thieves turned into givers. We now invite you to watch and receive the invaluable blessing that God has for you. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 16. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah, Esaias the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. You know, dear friends, one of my first memories were of well-known and eminent doctors. You know, great people in their own fields who came to the Lord Jesus after they had exhausted all those palliatives, medicines, and so on. They came seeking help from the dear Lord. And I saw how he answered. And also how they began to refer some of the awful cases which they could not deal with to my dad for prayer. So, some of our afflictions and diseases are to be found also amongst eminent medical men. None of us is exempt. But to whom do we go? Do we really go to the Lord Jesus? Here, this was not just an exclusive type of evening. Though as our Lord labored, Again and again, he had occasion to pray for the sick, but this particular evening, there were many who were brought to him, possessed with evil spirits, and others whom he healed of all their diseases. Now, 
when we see the way in which the devil is blinding the hearts of people, it is amazing that still they can harden their hearts against the word of God. Life and how fragile it is. Just imagine you're driving, I suppose today you drove across a number of bridges without even a thought that one of those bridges might collapse and plunge you into the river below. You know, that even that thought did not cross your mind. And imagine people coming home from work or others who were out on the road doing their little duties, suddenly meeting eternity. Not just being plunged into a river, but meeting their eternal reward. And yet, you know, the daily round goes on and anything to do with the Bible or with the Word of God is set aside for some peculiar gatherings of crazy people who talk about eternity while the things of time are so exciting. You know, friends, after all, we are just the pawns in the economic world. It's disgusting to think of anyone as a pawn in the economic setup. We have to pay our bills. Mark you, I believe that anyone that names the name of Jesus Christ must be very scrupulous with the way he uses a friend's telephone. You know, in the course of my many travels, my hosts have always said to me, Use the telephone, Mr. Daniel. But, you know, the telephone bill does not come immediately. It comes after you have left. I don't like it. I don't appreciate that one bit. I wish that the telephone bill would be placed right there in front of me, that I pay down what I have spent and not leave it to my host or somebody else to pick up the bill. But you know, I had to tell in one of our retreats in Europe when people were always trying to hitch a ride, you know. They would say, oh, you're leaving tomorrow, are you? Okay, then I'll pack up and go with you. I used to tell them, though we hear of hydrogen cars,